On top of all the useful Prodigy features that you have, Prodigy Connect gives you access to Android. To do so, press the home button once on the top center of your screen and with this a launcher will appear allowing you to go from Prodigy to Android. So if I want to go into the Android I will tap twice to bring me into the Android settings. Here you can find several applications that have been pre-installed such as the Google Suite on the top left side, several accessibility applications that you can activate or delete from your tablet if you don't want them on the top right. In the center you'll find Prodigy icons. On the bottom left side you will find all the settings or the files and the Dropbox folder that's very useful for education or for professionals. On the bottom right side are the settings for the tablet. Now Android comes with accessibility and on this tablet I've activated the accessibility and to be able to turn it on just a triple tap with a single finger one two three and that zooms in right away to where I pointed or I tapped. I can change the magnification with two fingers by pinching and zooming and move around with my two fingers also. Now that can be turned on as it isn't turned on by default by going into settings and once you're in settings under device tab one of the last menus is accessibility and when you tap under accessibility you have access to vision and one of the last menus here under vision is magnification gestures that you must turn on and once you turn that switch on one two three with one single finger will zoom in to the area where you triple tapped and if you press the home button you can go right back to Prodigy by tapping on Prodigy icon twice and then the accessibility turns itself off. Accessibility can be used also in Prodigy on or off to your liking.